on James Cameron there. That movie sucked. Fucking blue people. Wait, I'm all here. Oh! Guy again! Mother! Pincer. Huh? Oh, priority mail. Oh, from Japan. From Tom? Let's do it! Ah! viewers out there I'm Rob reviews and today I am NOT rebuttaling something I'm reviewing something and as you can all probably tell I'm in my Godzilla room and as you can all probably tell I really love Godzilla because I have a Godzilla room yeah anyway today I'm going to be talking about this lovely lad right here now this is Shin Gojira Shin Gojira is of course the name of the new Toho Godzilla film this is Toho's very first Godzilla film since 2004 Shin Gojira was announced shortly after the success of Legendary's Godzilla 2014 film, so game on, I guess. Now, my good friend Tom, who lives in Japan, out of the kindness of his heart, sent this to me, and it arrived very, very quickly. He was kind of messing around with me, and he was just saying, oh, yeah, there might be something in the mail for you tomorrow, and I get a message today, hey, there should be something on your doorstep, and I opened up the box, and I got this lovely guy right here. Now, before I, you know, overshoot this and everything, let's take a good old look at Shin Gojira. And here he is everybody, this is our Shin Gojira figure. Now right up front you can see right over here by the face there is a lot of fantastic detail in here. All the ridges above whatever he has left of his gums and the the scarring of the skin even on the eyes, even on the eyes right here. You, they even uh, managed to uh, mold in a pupil in there if you look close enough. And he's got a very very strong brow up here as well. And then coming down near the teeth, you can see that the teeth do look like they were molded on your classic little track over there by the mouth. And even in the mouth, there's some detail. No tongue. And then coming down over here by the uh, neck, we can start seeing some of the scarring with the reds and the orange. And uh, as his neck comes down, it, very, very detailed figure from Bandai. I, you know, I have to sing my praises for Bandai this time around. All the wondrous detail in here. Even on the hands. Even on the hands, there's a lot of good detail. And uh, as you can see, there's not much paint on Shin Gojira. He is uh, mostly black all throughout with the little hints and glints of orange and, of course, the white and the yellow on the eyes, the teeth, and on the toes over here. And uh, if we can get a nice little zoom in on the feet over here, uh, you can actually see that he's actually got some toes above his toes. That's very, very interesting design choice. And uh, even on the legs and a little bit on the stomach over here, we can see a lot, a lot of scarring. And now let's turn the figure around a little bit. You know, we have our classic Godzilla spikes back here with uh, the orange behind. And I really like how the orange is climbing up some of the spikes as you can see over here very reminiscent of burning Godzilla or Godzilla 1995 and another thing that I really really like is that uh, the skin is very raised over here it's raised to a point and it's like that on both sides of the figure they really went for a lot of detail with this one and I gotta say Bandai knocked it out of the park despite the lack of paint and now as we uh, come to the tail you'll notice that there's actually like a raised section of spikes back here and that's really cool it's not something that's done too much and you know basic black and then we get to the tip of the tail as a lot of fans are calling the uh, Legend of Zelda weak point <laughs> and oh man the detail in here is fantastic coupled with the orange and red paint over here it looks fantastic and you can see a lot of like skeletal remains almost in there it's very spooky very ominous if you will and then we'll come around back to the front of the figure and again more orange and red over here on the chest 
Now, apparently on the 12-inch version, there's going to be orange and red all along the legs, the back, and the tail to really, like, give it that boost and appeal and everything. Now, when it comes to articulation with Shin Gojira, you're not going to get a lot. You can do your basic 360 with the arms and your basic 360 with the legs. There is nothing in the tail nor in the head. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really, really like this figure. It's a fantastic looking figure, despite the lack thereof paint and everything. For a 6 inch Bandai figure, you get a lot with this, and I'm extremely happy with it. Well everybody, those are my thoughts on the Shin Gojira figure. I cannot wait for more from the Shin Gojira line, and I really hope I don't have to wait until 2017 to see this movie. Tom? Thank you so much, dude. This means the world to me. I'm so glad you did this, and I will pay you back in any way possible, and I hope I can meet you soon. But now, without further ado... Ah, that's nice.